What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. It is the pro black version. Guys, I've been getting a lot of emails and information about the situation regarding a Chinese man who has just been made chief in Ghana. Shout out to sister Mildred Europa Taylor. She wrote the article there. And uh, the name of that website is face to face Africa.com. You can check this out. Um, you know, and the first comment pinned to the top. Now, the man's name is Sun Quiang, right? He has been installed as developmental chief of Kwahu Abetifi. I don't know if I said it right. He's in the eastern region of Ghana. And the title, which is developmental chief, I'm not going to mispronounce it. It's a N K O S U O H N E N E. It's often given to non royals. Are people who are politicians or tourists engaged in development. And the title was conferred on a Chinese man. And some Ghanaians are not enthused over the development. And not only just Ghanaians, I see a lot of people in the black diaspora. Okay. Now, the name, now obviously, you know, he was given a traditional stool name, Barima Kofi Ayabafo. And that literally means one who has done something to benefit others. And a lot of people are upset with these images because he has, you know, he's got the, you know, the Ghanaian sandals on. He has the sand, you know, he has the, the, the Ghanaian attire here. And he was actually lifted up and walked around by the locals. A lot of African-Americans have a problem with this because of what's happening with China, okay? I will, I will say this to you. You cannot tell uh, the, the people that are in the culture. No matter how much you agree with it or don't, you cannot tell Ghanaians who they should bestow things onto or not. It's not your business, okay? I know that's going to be tough, but I've, I've been here for going on a year almost, and um, whether I agree with it or not, it's not your business to challenge their custom, okay? Whether they want to give that title to a white person or to an Asian person, um, now in the in. Now, if you have something that's like no more white saviors and you have a white savior in your midst, I'm going to call that out. But something like this, African-Americans have received this sort of title before. Others have received it. This is how they do it. Fine. My question is to you, why are you not there receiving the title instead of him? And people who know me, I have some feelings towards Ghana. Um, and, and the ECOWAS region in general, which is why I settled in East Africa, not West. That's a different story, though. Uh, I, ha I have some, some concerns about a lot of things to do with Ghana and the year return and things like that. As far as, because they are our people. Um, and, and, but I won't get into that right now. But the, 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 the things that I have questions are not to actually gone in this episode it's for you those of you who have a problem with it why is it not you because see the difference between you and the guy is he's there and he's been known as a person that is developing in the region why are you not known as being the person that's developing in the region see a lot of times in the black community we want to have opinions with nothing behind it and i'm going to tell you like this the chinese men who's in the picture don't care less of what you think that's even to the local Ghanaians. Doesn't care. He is somebody that they feel is bringing money and development. Are you a person that brings money or development? 
if the answer is no, then 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 what you should do is just be quiet. That's just simply it. I, I know that y'all are not gonna like this 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 attitude, but that's how they're gonna take it. People in Ghana do not care about people in the diaspora who all they have is words. People in Uganda are not gonna care about people in the diaspora who all you have is words. People in Nigeria are not gonna care about people in the diaspora who all you have is words. If you do not come to the continent or wherever you wanna to come to your choice, there's plenty of countries out there, and you don't work with the people, you're not a factor. Factors don't get listened to. I talk about this in the African American community. We want a lot of things done for our people in black America as African Americans. Do you know why nothing happens? Cause you, all we do is talk. We don't have no action behind it. So you don't get nowhere. But you know what? There's an entitlement thing that a lot of people in the diaspora feel like we got a lot of folks talking about Africa, you know, a lot of people who want their voice to be heard talking about Africa, you know, never been to Africa, never going to Africa, you know, but you want to, you know, you know, you don't have nothing that's tangible. Nobody cares about you. I'm sorry. That's how they're going to take it. You, you want me to be real? I'm going to be real. Nobody cares. All right. I'm going to just be honest with you. I've been here right now. Nobody, nobody gives a damn. Okay. You have to earn your keep. If the, if the Chinese guy comes out and develops and works with the people and they lift him up, that's because you're not there. And that's why a lot of people are mad at the Chinese guy. I, I, I've talked about how the Chinese disrespect people in Africa all the time. I talk about it all the time. But you know what? A lot of this fake outrage about the continent got to stop. Some, some of y'all are not really committed to this. And a lot of y'all are playing. Okay. So for some of you people out there, stop wasting my time. Stop wasting your other time. Stop wasting people's time. We're really serious about this. I'm just going to be real today. Let's just stop playing around. Look, we, we, we got a lot of people that engage in this content and engage in the conversation. You got not, you guys aren't serious. Many of you are not serious. Some of you are, many of you are not. And you're not going to like that. But the, the difference between you and other people, when I see the whites on the planes, when I see the Asians on the planes, they're serious. I've been to uh, uh, Addis Ababa airport. The first time I came to Africa, I've been there like four or five times. I didn't see not one African-American on the plane. I, I didn't see nobody from the diaspora on the plane that I could think about. I can typically tell somebody from the diaspora about how they dress and, you know, things that you wear. Y'all went on the plane. I saw the Chinese on the plane, though. Maybe I was just on that plane, but when I'm in, in, on the continent, I'm seeing people doing things. I was talking to one guy in Tanzania. He said, yeah, he's been in Ghana. I was in Dar es Salaam. He was going from, I came from uh, Doha to, uh, he was in Dar es Salaam doing business, Asian guy. He lived in Ghana for 15 years. So he never made that much money in his life. This Chinese guy. And some of y'all will want to talk about the Chinese guy all day. Where are you, where are you competing on the continent? Where are you competing in the black community? If you don't compete and work with your people, other people are going to be exalted where you should be exalted. All in the black community. And I'm tired of this jump. All in our black community, we got all kind of Lebanese stores, Arab owned stores, getting rich, sending their kids to Korean stores. Here you go talking about why they got been. They should be, I used to be one of the kind of people too. They should be out of our business. I, but they don't want to set the stores up. I don't even talk about it no more. Unless I'm gonna set up a store, I'm not even gonna talk about it. You brothers and sisters. You brothers and sisters gonna have to be serious about to stop, stop hating on people for uh, taking the, uh, the advantages you're not taking. That's what it comes down to. In this channel, it's gonna be some accountability. You wanna come to Uganda, you wanna come to Kenya, you're gonna have to put in the work. If you don't want to put in the work, just be quiet. And you can get outraged and phony and all that stuff. Some of you guys just want to consume the content and not do anything. Otherwise, people are going to continue to be exalted over you.
So, I, I mean, I'm just being honest. Until you do that, nothing's going to happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing shall happen. Other Chinese people are going to come over to Africa and continue to shine. While you sit there and complain about it. Okay? You need to do what? You need to come out, work with the people locally, where you at, work with them all over the world, on the internet, through Zoom. You need to work with your own people. Because when the Chinese come to Africa, they work over their own people. They work with their people. They support their people. And we don't do that. Enough! And we gotta start. And I'm gonna tell you right now, otherwise I don't wanna hear it. Uh, uh, my time is out for me for playing with people. I just don't want to hear it. You can go somewhere else with that. I just, I just, I, we, we gotta, we got we gotta get people out of here who don't want to do the work. If you're gonna do the work, do it. If not, just, 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 just stop crying about it. And that's all I gotta say. If you don't like it, I, I don't know what to tell you. That has to, how has to, we need more doers of the work, less people talking about it. Guys. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Subscribe at the bell. Always remember, keep it real. King Ghana forever. I'm out.